Hello everyone, welcome to the garden class. We are going to make herbal ice cups today. So I'm gonna go ahead and share our screen. We are going, yeah, like I said, herbal ice cups. We're gonna um, do some ice cubes for our water and we're also going to make some ice bags for our bath or our shower or just um, our viewing pleasure outside on the sidewalk. Okay, so the first thing on our list is we have a video um, about two young boys that really like their herbs and spices. So let's enjoy that video. Here's a quick tip from Cooking with Kids. Dylan and Nathan are learning about herbs and spices. There are so many to explore. First, we'll look at spices. Did you know that spices are dried roots, flowers, or seeds of plants? Gold spices stay fresh longer than ground ones and have more flavor too. Toasting whole spices changes how they taste. Today, we're using cumin seeds in a delicious sauce. With the help of a grown-up, toast the seeds over medium heat, stirring often. When you smell the aroma, they're done. Take them out of the pan right away so they don't burn. Let them cool before grinding. A motor and pestle is easy to use. And it's really fun to grind whole spices. Fresh herbs can add a big burst of flavor, or just a little hint, depending on how much you use. Cilantro and parsley are the least expensive. Parsley goes with most vegetables, and with meats and fish too. After it's washed, everyone can tear the leaves and stem. We're using one cup each of cilantro and parsley leaves to make a yummy mixture called chermula. Chermula is a herb sauce from North Africa. Add a clove of garlic, salt, pepper, and paprika, and grind it into a paste. Now add the parsley and cilantro, small amounts, and keep grinding. Stir in the olive oil and fresh lemon juice. Chermula tastes great with oven roasted sweet potato wedges. Using herbs and spices adds lots of flavor. And when we make healthy foods, we're more excited to try them. All right, so I absolutely agree that we are more likely to try something when we actually make it ourselves. So if you have the opportunity, opportunity to get creative with a parent, an adult, um, I definitely highly recommend it. We are gonna watch one more video because I want to talk about the importance of water just a little bit. We need to make sure we're consuming our water. And I know a lot of, the, a lot of kids complain about water because it doesn't taste good. Um, there are many ways to make water taste good. And I'm going to show you a quick video on ways that you can make that happen. I hear so many people say, you know, I, I just can't drink water. I can't drink water. I just don't like the taste of it. Now, see, I get that, but I don't think it should end with that. I think there is a way to drink water and like it, or should I say there's a few ways. Today, we're going to teach you some. How about water that tastes vaguely like creamsicles? It just takes some orange juice and some vanilla. Really, that's it. 
<laughs> I have to admit, I'm a big believer that everything is a bit better with a bit of vanilla. So why not try it near water? You're not going to be sad. And then there's cinnamon. I mean, cinnamon. Cinnamon sticks. Cinnamon anything. Cinnamon is great for you. And a yummy flavor. And so many people think of it as their all-time favorite. So why not a touch of it in your water? It's in so many dishes that so many people love. Basically, to do this, you're just making a cinnamon simple syrup. And then add a pop into your next glass of water. While we're at it, I, I really don't think we should overlook the subtle and the even pretty, dare I say it, flavors that come from making juice ice cubes. It's simple. It's really simple. You just pour your juice into your cubes, you got it. And the water just gets better and better as it melts. Delicious. For those of you who, like me, love sodas. I mean, I love, love, love myself some sodas. How about creating your own? It's not hard. It's not hard at all. Just juice, water, and sugar boiled down to about half. Then when you have it right where you want it, add in some sparkling water. <laughs> Seriously, yum, and better for you. Water has never looked so good, but more importantly, never tasted so good. So come on, pour yourself a glass. Cheers. Okay, so um, before you write off water and you don't want to drink any, be creative find some ways to make some ice cubes and that's what we're going to do today. Um, we're going to first start with just a bag to make a, a bath, um, almost like a bath bomb, except with water. So you're going to, again, please make sure you ask your parents uh, or an adult if it's safe to use um, whatever ingredients you find. I um, know that we have mint, and we have sage in our garden here at Lake County Tribal Health. And so I went out and I picked um, the, two, the different types of sage that we have. And I know they're safe and they smell amazing. So I want um, you to make sure that you do the same. Make sure you ask an adult before you use it because you don't wanna have any allergic reactions. And some plants as we know can be toxic. So we wanna make sure we're using the right kind that are good for us. Um, so it's really simple. All you're going to do is you're going to pick the herb or spice that you chose um, however you want. You can break them into small pieces, right? Or you can have full, big, pretty leaves if you want to. I also, we have a very, um, very pretty flower garden out there as well. So I chose this to see what it would look like if we freeze it. So there was an ant on it and I made sure I got that off before I froze it in the freezer. All right, so I'm just going to simply place it in my bag. And my Ziploc bag, it can be anything. It doesn't have to be a baggie if you don't have one. You can put it um, in a Tupperware dish. You can put it in a plastic cup. Anything you want that you can safely put in the freezer and it might be a good idea that it's okay if it gets broken because sometimes when we freeze things, water expands and tends to pop. So let me fill this with water. And voila, now it might not look that exciting right now, right? So maybe we'll want to lay it flat on its side so that that flower can open up and those leaves have an opportunity to show how cool they look. And I'm just going to set this in the freezer. Leave it overnight, maybe even just a few hours, you might wanna check on it. And then for your next bath, you can pull it out of the bag and let it melt as you enjoy some downtime. Popping it in the freezer. I went ahead
ahead and made one in a cup last night. And so the same thing, just a plastic cup, all you'd have to do is either let it melt a little bit because once it starts to cool down, it'll become loose in there and you can pop it out or take some scissors and just kind of peel away until you have your ice. And just like that, leaking a little bit. <laughs> you have a beautiful ice cup. This one has mint in it and I can set this in my bathtub and I will smell the mint and enjoy science as it melts when it gets warmed up. Now, mint in our garden smells amazing already. Um, I have some right here. All I'm going to do is I'm going to peel off a few pieces of the mint and I'm going to stick them in my ice tray. Again, make sure you ask a parent for permission. But I'm just going to stick the mint in there and then fill up my ice cups with water. And then once they are filled up, put them in the freezer and you can drop them into your glass of water to add a little bit of extra flavor so that you can consume um, your six to eight glasses of water that you need to every single day. Now, mint is really good for your breath and it also can soothe an upset stomach. So ask, again, ask your parents what type of herbs you can use to make your own ice cups and enjoy. <laughs>